Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again, and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 on your Raspberry Pi 4. Now this is very early, but I've had a lot of people ask me to do a quick tutorial, so I figured I'd go ahead and get it out of the way. What we're going to be using here is the Insider Preview in an application called WOR, otherwise known as Windows on Raspberry Pi, to get this up and running. And there's a few ways to run this on your Raspberry Pi 4. SD card, USB, or an external SSD or M.2. Personally, I prefer not using a micro SD card with Windows on the Raspberry Pi because they are a bit slow. So I use an SSD connected over USB, but there's tons of different cases and accessories out there for your Pi that allow you to install an M.2 or a 2.5 inch drive. It's really up to you. Now, one of the most important parts about getting this up and running on your Raspberry Pi is in order to install this to said drive, you will need to be using a Windows PC that's already up and running. And this is really early. This is not meant to be a daily driver. This is just in case you want to test it out. But we do have full access to Ethernet, audio over HDMI, all the RAM we want from the Raspberry Pi 2 gigabyte, 4, and 8. Unfortunately, the only thing that I can't get working here is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi with this build, but it may be fixed in the future. So there are a few things you're going to need to get this up and running. Obviously, you'll need a Raspberry Pi 4. 2 gigabyte, 4 gigabyte, and 8 gigabyte model will work. I also recommend some cooling. I'm using a cheap dual fan setup from Amazon. I'll leave links to everything in the description. Next thing you're going to need to do is decide on what kind of storage you want to use. You can go micro SD card. It's going to be a bit slower than a USB drive, but personally, I prefer an SSD or an M.2. For this video, I'm going to be using a Kingston 240GB SSD with this USB 3.0 adapter. And in order for your Raspberry Pi to boot from USB with no micro SD card, your Raspberry Pi 4's firmware will need to be up to date. I'll leave a link in the description on how to do it. It's pretty easy to do. And the final thing you'll need is a working Windows PC, Windows 7, Windows 10, or even if you're running Windows 11 on it. Because the application we're going to be using to install Windows 11 to our drive, which is known as WOR, Windows on Raspberry Pi, only works on Windows. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and move over to my computer and get this set up. Okay, so if you're ready to get Windows 11 installed on your Raspberry Pi 4, let's go ahead and get started. Like I mentioned, you will need another Windows PC to get this up and running, but you can install this to an SSD, a USB drive, or a micro SD card, and running it from a faster USB or SSD or M.2 is going to be much better than an SD, but if you just want to test it out, you can always use one of those. So first thing we need to do, is head over to the links in the description. I'm going to leave a link to everything I mentioned in this video. The very first thing we're going to download is WOR, Windows on Raspberry Pi. This is an application that easily allows you to install Windows to a drive for your Raspberry Pi. So we're going to download the latest version here, and that's going to be version 2.1.2, but this will be higher in the future. We'll go ahead and get that downloading. While that finishes up, we're also going to download the boot partition mount utility. Now this is totally optional. If you want to do some overclocking, you will have to use this, and I'll show you how to do it by the end of this video, but we're going to download this. And the final thing we need is our Windows 11 image. Now on this website here, I'm going to go to the uup.rg, and we need to get the version of Windows 11 that's going to run on the Raspberry Pi. So from select type, we're going to use this drop down. We're going to use the insider. Select version, Windows 11 Insider Preview, and choose the latest one, but you need the ARM64 version. I'm just going to go with English here. Edition, we can go with Pro or Home. I usually just go with Professional. And select Download Type. Download ISO Compiler in one click. Once we have all of the parameters selected correctly, we're going to go ahead and download it here. And it might give us a warning, but we do want to keep this. So we're going to keep. And I'm going to keep anyway. So now that we have everything downloaded, we're going to head over to our downloads folder. And this is the first one we need to worry about. We need to create that ISO. Personally, I prefer creating a new folder and placing it inside of here because it will create more files for us. So I just call this Windows 11 Pi. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to place the creating ISO file that we downloaded right in here. Just makes it easier to manage everything. And now we're going to right click on this and run as administrator. 
You will need to be connected online for this to work, but it's automatically going to create an ISO for us that we're able to flash with that WOR application that we downloaded. This takes anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes depending on your internet connection and how well the servers are going at the moment. So just be patient with it and let it finish up. It will notify you once it's done. But while this is going, we can actually just take a look in here. And from that new folder that we created, you can see that we're getting more files in here. So it is creating that image for us. We just have to let it finish. So once this is finished creating that Windows 11 ISO we're going to be using, it'll ask us to press any key to exit. We're going to do that now. And now, inside of that folder, we have a disk image file. This is what we're going to be using to flash to our SD, USB, or SSD, whatever you chose to use. And in order to do that, we need to use WOR, the release that we downloaded, which is 2.1.2 as of making this video. It will be higher in the future. We're going to go ahead and extract this. We're going to open up the folder, and we're going to find the application, WOR. Right click, run as administrator, and here we are. So what I'm going to do now is actually plug my drive in that I'm going to be flashing to, and I'm using that USB to SATA adapter with that 240 gigabyte SSD. You can use a micro SD or a USB drive also. And here it is. I've just named it 240 gigabyte SSD, so I know exactly which drive I want to flash to. Go ahead and read through everything in WOR. We're going to choose Next. I'm going to choose my storage device, which is the SSD I'm going to be flashing to, but if you're using a micro SD card or USB, it will be populated here. So the bottom one here is the internal drive of the PC we're using now. I don't want to flash to it, but WOR won't allow us to. I also have another drive plugged in, which is a one terabyte, and this JMicron is the one I want to flash to because I'm using that JMicron USB adapter to SSD. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this. Just make sure you're choosing the correct drive you want to flash to because it will overwrite everything on that drive. Triple check if you have to. Since we're going to be installing this to the Raspberry Pi 4, we're going to choose Raspberry Pi 4. I'm going to choose OK and Next. Now we need to select the image we just created. You can actually drag and drop it if you want to, but it's going to be in my Downloads folder, in that folder we created, and it's right here. The disk image file. It's 4.5 gigs. And as you can see, it scanned that disk image file and it's Windows 11 Pro. We'll choose Next. Now we need to select our drivers. I'm going to use the latest packages available on the server. So we'll make sure that's checked. Choose Accept and Next. Select the UEFI firmware. I'm going to use the latest firmware available on the server again. Next. And now it's time to flash our drive with Windows 11 for the Pi 4. I'm just going to choose Next. It's going to give us a little bit of information here. My storage device is correct because it's connected over that JMicron. My device type is the Raspberry Pi 4. Also works on the Pi 400. Windows 11 operating system. And uh, everything looks good here, so I'll choose Install. WOR is going to take care of the rest. It's going to flash that image to our drive. And again, this could take a little while depending on how fast your drive is. Since I'm using that SSD, it should do it pretty quickly, but you'll get some pop-ups because it's creating new partitions on that drive. Let this finish up. It will prompt you when it's done. All right, our installation is now complete to our drive for the Pi 4, but there's one thing that I always like to do with my Pi 4 in Windows, and that's a little bit of overclocking. So from here, I'm going to choose Finish. And uh, if we take a look at that drive we just flashed, it's now named Windows. We don't have that config.txt in the boot partition. We just can't see it. But that's why we downloaded the WOR boot mounter. So I'm going to right click, extract to itself. From here, we're going to use the application. I'm going to choose the drive that I just installed Windows 11 to, which is the JMicron. I'm going to mount and I'm going to view contents. And from here, we now have that config.txt. We can see it on our Windows PC and we can edit it from here. This is totally optional, but like I mentioned, I do prefer overclocking my Pi 4. I do have sufficient cooling on this. And for this, I'm only going to go to 2 gigahertz. You really don't want to use the built-in text editor inside of Windows. So uh, I actually use Notepad++ and on this PC here, I don't have it installed, so we'll just head over there. I'll leave a link to it in the description. We're just going to download the latest release 
and install it. This is just an easy to use text editor for Windows. So we'll install. I don't want to run it yet. And we'll head back there. So I'm going to right click, open with Notepad++. Now from here, we can edit the config.txt just like we do with a Linux operating system and add our overclock settings. I'm just going to add two lines. We're going to go to 2 gigahertz, over voltage equals 4, arm frequency equals 2000. That's going to overclock our Raspberry Pi 4 to 2 gigahertz. Definitely helps out, but you need some good cooling on that Pi. File, save. We're going to close Notepad++ down and we want to unmount that drive correctly. So we'll choose unmount, close it down, and now it's time to move over to our Raspberry Pi 4 and get Windows 11 booted up. All right, so here we are. I've got the Raspberry Pi. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning, Wi-Fi isn't working, so plug your Ethernet in. I just forgot to do it. But I do have the drive plugged in over USB that we just flashed. I have a keyboard, HDMI, and the cooler. So now it's time to go ahead and boot this up for the first time. But there are a few changes we need to do before we get into Windows. So let's go ahead and grab our keyboard and press Escape. This is going to bring us into a boot configuration setup, kind of like a BIOS. And uh, let me zoom in a bit. we got a couple things that we need to change here. So grab your keyboard. You're going to use the arrow keys to navigate. Device Manager. Raspberry Pi Configuration. From here, we need to change the Display Configuration. We're going to go to 720p. So we'll make sure this is checked and we're going to uncheck native resolution. Once that's done, press escape on your keyboard. It'll bring us back. We also have CPU configuration settings, but since we manually changed this, the default is going to be 2 gigahertz because I am overclocked. There's one last thing we need to do, and that's enable all of the RAM on our Raspberry Pi. I have a 4 gigabyte model here. So we're going to go to advanced configuration. And at the very top, we want to disable limit to 3 gigabytes. This is going to use all the RAM on your Pi, be it 4 gigs or 8. Depends on what Pi model you have. We'll press Escape, press Y to save the changes. We'll escape a few more times. Continue. Enter. And now it's going to start to boot Windows 11. And since this is the first time we're booting up Windows on our Raspberry Pi, we kind of got to walk through the configuration just like you would with a new Windows PC. This is a fresh Windows install. So it's going to give you all the information you need here. You're going to have to put in your name, choose your keyboard layout, language, and things like that. Very self-explanatory, but this has to be done in order to get to Windows. Like I mentioned, at the time of making this video, Wi-Fi is not working on the Pi 4 with Windows 11, so I do suggest plugging in Ethernet. So now i got to go through these steps on getting this set up, but we are running Windows 11 on our Raspberry Pi. And once we're set up, it'll look something like this. We'll head over to the task manager and I'll just give you a look here. We are on the Raspberry Pi 4 with the BCM 2711 at 2 gigahertz because we did do that overclock. If yours isn't sitting at 2 gigahertz, then the overclock didn't go well. You might have to re-edit that config.txt. 4 gigabytes of RAM because I'm rocking that 4 gigabyte model here and we can use all of it in Windows. We also have Ethernet plugged in and that SSD, that J-Micron USB adapter. One tweak that I always like to do with Windows on the Raspberry Pi is just kind of adjust the visual performance. So from the search bar, we can go to Performance, adjust the appearance, and we just kind of adjust for best performance. It's going to take some of the shadows out. It won't look as nice, but it still looks pretty good for Windows on a Raspberry Pi. You can head over here to settings. That's about the only change I make here. And um, we do have access to the Microsoft Store. But remember, we're on a low powered ARM chip, so a lot of this stuff just isn't going to work great. But some of the built in apps, like uh, let's say Paint here, do work pretty well. Paint, Calculator, and Microsoft Edge. So if you want to do some web browsing here, we'll just go ahead and open this up. And I'll just head over to the Raspberry Pi website. It's really not all that bad over Ethernet, especially using this uh, Edge browser here. Everything does load up way faster than I thought it would. But yeah, I mean, that's basically it for this video. If you want to mess around with it, we do have the new Snap feature within Windows 11, and it does work here. 
This is definitely not something you want to use as a daily driver, but if you want to mess around with Windows 11 on the Pi, this is a great option. I mean, it is working right now, and you will get the best performance by overclocking and running this from an SSD, M.2, or a USB drive. But if you don't have any of those, you can try a micro SD. Make sure it's a pretty decent micro SD card, but you really will feel the difference when going from an SSD to that SD. All links for everything I mentioned in this video are in the description. And like always, thanks for watching.